Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, liar, liar, pants on fire. Be careful of someone sneaky. All right, Virgo, <laughs> what in the heck is this? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, there's a Leo and you have page of pentacles. You have the lovers and you have the six of cups. Okay. Hmm. All right. You've got Gemini. You have Leo. You have someone here who, um, oh, they're being exposed. They're coming and telling the truth. They're being caught. Somebody's being caught. Somebody, uh, Virgo, I feel like you're going back to this person saying, wait, what? What did you say? Um, you're exposing some kind of uh, sneaky person. Like you're exposing them either to themselves or to another person. Like there is going to be some communication in regards to someone who is lying. But I also just picked up that someone doesn't believe that you love them. And they're going to ask you because they think you're lying. <laughs> They don't think it's real. There's someone who doesn't think it's real. That you really, like, you love them. They think you're being sneaky. Or you're playing games. Yeah. You've got somebody here who's, like, super stressed about this. They have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> Why don't they believe you? They don't believe you really love them. Okay. That's interesting. Look. There's the Seven of Swords. They're going to ask you. They're going to reach out to you. They're stressing. Did you even love me? That's what I'm hearing. Did you even care? Did you even really? Were you sincere? Oh my gosh. This is this is something. Why would someone not trust the, or, that you really? I'm sure if Virgo told someone, maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't say it. Or maybe you didn't let them know. Okay. There's a chariot. We have cancer here. They don't think you... Um, Okay, I'm just hearing you You said you love me because you were just trying to get the car. I heard that. <laughs> Sorry, that's what I hear. Or uh, there's this, you were just gone very quick. You were just gone very quick. Said so they doubt that you, somebody doubts that you really love them. I am the queen of dropping things. I have the dropsies right now. So either you're gone really quick or you just left. And they don't know what to think. This person is questioning this. If you really cared. Because either you didn't give you didn't fight for it. I know some of some of you Virgos, I hear you. I hear you. I've been fighting for years and they wouldn't budge. You must have walked out. And now they're questioning it. Did Virgo even love? Virgo left. Virgo's not fighting for me anymore. Did they even love me? It's like, hello. If they were there fighting for you the whole entire time, why were you so fucking blind? You know? So now you question it when Virgo's gone? Like, hello? Are you just stupid? <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Now they're questioning it. They're holding fast and tight. They're trying to sort it out. They're they're stressed in their burden. And they might ask you. Sure. They're going to ask you. Why did you go? Why did you change things? Why did you leave? Why did you move out? Why did you relocate? Let me see you. Or go. Oh, because you wanted something more committed. And something more structured. It needed to have some kind of foundation or some type of like, I don't know, something might have felt too uncertain. Or, you know what I mean? Or it felt like there was like just somebody might have just been rebelling against you or not wanting to be in alignment with you and you needed that. This person. So it seems to me like it wasn't really even about if you love them. It seemed to me like it was more about if we are, if we can make something work, if, it, if it's compatible. I don't think you didn't love this person, whoever your person is. There's Taurus there. I don't feel like that's the issue. There was some, something, uh, there was maybe a lack of compatibility or some other problems. Control, spying, 
You did have Spy prior to this, Spying, um, Ten of Cups. Um, you wanted, it looks like you just wanted that happily ever after, that long term, a, a exclusive kind of committed type of relationship. Looks like maybe you didn't get that. That's why perhaps you might have left. Yeah, didn't have anything to do with, with lack of loving someone. Love's not enough. I don't, you know, I say all the time, yeah, love is great. Love is important. Love has to be there, you know. But it also has to be when you love each other, you respect enough, you respect each other enough to sit down and say, hey, how can we do this to make this work? How can we make something better? How can we manage this relationship? One other person should not say, and hey, we'll figure it out later or blow it off or that kind of thing. Needs, you know, people want to feel heard on either side. It's not just a female thing, it's a it's a male thing as well. So masculine thing, you know? So looks like there was a lack of structure of some sort um and i feel like you asked a lot of questions perhaps of this person and you did all that you had those conversations and your person might have been more just like kind of flirty and just keeping it lighthearted. yeah they were non-committal they really weren't committing it looks like they were committed to the fun, committed to flirting. They were committed to all that. And there's nothing wrong with flirting and fun. But, you know, there has to be every house before it's built has to have a structure and a foundation. That's when and then you, you, you frame out the relationship. And then when you fill the house in with all the furniture and all the other stuff, those are all the benefits and the goodies that come with it, you know, so there was no even found, firm foundation to this. It was just kind of like floating down the river. And wherever the river takes us, it's just a lack of direction, it feels like. Queen of Cups is here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let's see. Looks like that's the first court card. There's the Emperor. Yeah. For the Virgo Feminines, it looks like you were looking for someone who was going to be very stand-up-ish. Stand-up-ish. <laughs> Who is just going to be above board and take the lead and be able to help you define something. Um, and if you are a masculine, it looks like um, the person you were with just wasn't opening up or sharing how they felt, you know, um, or ex communicating with you at all when you were trying to be, um, it looks like, t taking the lead in something. Like you were, you know, the Emperor and the Queen of Cups do not go together, it's a mismatch. It's, it's an absolute mismatch. Neither is happy with the other generally um, because they just don't go well together the emperor needs an uh, empress and the empress needs an emperor you know someone wasn't up to par in other words it's not that someone wasn't good enough i don't feel like it's that it was just like a mismatch miscommunication um a lack of being able to meet each other's needs the emperor like i said doesn't generally go with an empress and vice versa the emperor and the empress meet each other needs because they're they, they're in the same realm they understand each other they they sit on the same throne you know um yeah there was a lack of understanding and now someone someone's questioning if you even love them okay they're bringing harsh judgment down in lieu of that okay and judging themselves even harder okay but something's going to come out something's going to absolutely come out oh yeah so i'm going to tell you that well it's going to come out into the open whether it's directly to you or indirectly there's an energy of um someone this person feels like you betrayed them because you left well it, the way i see it is if you have to be true to yourself and in turn other people feel betrayed because you're being true to yourself, that's not a you problem, Virgo. That's a they problem. You should always be true to yourself. Always. So if someone feels betrayed because you decided to take care of you or you decided that it's time for you to get your needs met and someone isn't able to meet those needs and they feel betrayed by that, <sighs> well, that's a little narcissistic if you ask me. You know, you have to take care of your needs. You're, you know, you're out here living for you. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. So, yeah, the shift, the shift. So you have definitely shifted, changed things for the better for yourself. That's what it looks like. Okay. And what's this person going to do besides accusing you? 
All right, we've got Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio energy. Hmm. Oh, you know what, Virgo? I was just asking what this person's going to do. It seems to me like it doesn't freaking matter. Um, they are intent on staying in their grief and telling everyone that you betrayed them or just feeling like a victim. Okay. Um, them looking at the temperance here where it's kind of like temperance is a place that everybody needs to be to get in a neutral position and to be stable and to be calm and, and happy. This person looks at that like that's some kind of alien form. Like, I don't feel like this person is going to be able to see the light and just say, Virgo didn't betray me. I just wasn't really able to meet Virgo's needs and Virgo wasn't able to meet mine. Okay, so yeah, but but they're not going to do that. And they're just going to sit there and say, I've lost Virgo. Virgo lied to me. Play the victim. This person, Virgo did this. Or Virgo didn't do that and left me out in the cold and now I'm dying. And that's a shame. That's kind of a shame. That feels like it's a shame to me. But eventually, I guess they'll get over it. It looks like they'll get over it for sure. And it's the outcome of this three, oh, three of pentacles, a two of cups. Hmm. So I think at some point, Virgo, let me just, once this person gets over themselves and just is like, all right, I'm, I'm done with my crying and my grieving. I'm going to cut myself off and block myself. Once I get past that, I do feel like there will be an opportunity here to try to rebuild something and maybe in a different kind of a relationship, like friendship and just, you know, um, just kind of be on neutral ground you know what i mean i feel like somebody i don't i don't know virgo i don't get it it's like i don't feel like you're really hurt i don't know maybe you are but whoever is listening here i don't feel like the person the virgo that's listening here is all that hurt um maybe healed quicker than the other person but i feel like like the outcome there will be an opportunity for you and this person to kind of be on a better page going forward and um, just keep it real civil at least at the at the least there may be an opportunity to rebuild and try to work together and reunite and try to start from scratch all over again um, if you want it of course I always say if you want it 